What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man. How you guys doing today? Today I am bringing you a special unboxing of a package I just got in the mail. And uh, for full disclosure, they did contact me and ask me if I would do a review video for them. Um, so they sent me the product for free. Um, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that, but it is a free product. So, Super excited to open this up. In the past, I have unboxed and reviewed the Chipolo 2.5. If you guys want to see that video, click right here. I will also be doing a distance test with the Chipolo 2.5 and the new Chipolo Plus. So if you guys want to see that video, click right here. So in their email to me, they said they um, have this new product called Chipolo Plus and they wanted to come into the US market and go head to head versus Tile. I did a little research on Chipolo and apparently they are big overseas and Europe. Um, they're, I believe they're a company based in Slovenia. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Go ahead and do it. All right, so you can see here, they sent me two Chipolos. One is the retail package, and I guess one is the online packaging. So let's go ahead and open this one up first. You guys can read the back and ring it, find it with 90 decibels. They actually mentioned in their email, it's actually 100 decibels. Um, and they are actually claiming that they are the loudest tracker on the market with new Chipolo Plus. So we're gonna go put that to the test, by the way because I bought this little sound meter just to see how loud the Chipolo actually is. I will be doing other videos for my Patreon members to see the sound levels of other trackers like the Tile and the Tracker Bravo. So definitely, if you guys haven't already, check out my Patreon page. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's in here. Boom, So oh, this one is a blue one. And it comes uh, with a little key ring, which is very nice and handy to have. And the little instruction book. And then we're gonna open up this one. All right, and the exact same thing. We have the key ring and the Chipolo in black. Chipolo Plus. With the little instruction book underneath. Let's quickly compare this to the original Chipolo or Chipolo 2.5, which I believe they're calling the Chipolo Classic now. So, which I have right here. All right guys, you guys can see there that the Chipolo Plus is slightly bigger than the original Chipolo Classic, just slightly. The thickness is also just a tad thicker. It also feels a tad heavier and unlike the Chipolo Classic or Chipolo 2.5. I believe this is uh, sealed. So unlike the original Chipolo Classic, you cannot open this up and change the battery. It comes with a one year non-replaceable battery, very similar to the tile. So just like the tile, you actually have to purchase a new one. I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm sure they're gonna have some type of replacement program just like the tile has. I'll put a comment down below once I find that information out. I'm not quite sure why they switch from a replaceable battery to a non-replaceable battery. Maybe to boost revenue, I'm not quite sure. They do mention in their paperwork that it is a CR2032 which I will be opening this device in the near future. So if you guys want to check out that video, click right up here. Talking about the tile, the Chipolo is the exact same diameter at 37 millimeters, even though it does seem smaller because it has rounded corners. It is thicker though at 5.9 millimeters compared to tiles 5.2 millimeters. The new tile mate is much smaller at 34 millimeters diameter and 4.65 millimeters thick compared to Chipolo's 5.9. So let's go ahead and go into the app, connect it, and see what we get into. All right, so we're in the Chipolo app, and you can see the Chipolo keys, which is the original Chipolo Classic right here. And we're gonna hit the plus sign and go ahead and add a new one. So I believe there's a button right here somewhere, so let's go ahead and try to add it. Well, let's try that again. Pressed it. 
made it, it made a sound and now it's not doing anything. Oh, there it goes, it made another sound. Oh. Let's go ahead and click resume adding. Maybe we gotta hold it down. That's still there. Oh, maybe you'll try this other one. Try the black one. Let's try it. Nope, that's not working either. All right, for some reason, I'm having a little trouble. All right, guys, I am back. Um, after like a half hour of playing with it, they actually, they both connected. I didn't do anything special, I just kept playing with them, um, and they both connected. Now that they're both connected, let's go ahead and go back into the app and let's play around with them. Just so I can tell the difference, I'm going to be naming one Black Plus and the other I'm going to be naming Blue Plus. Let's go in and ring it. Let's go ahead and do the black one. I don't know guys, it doesn't sound like the loudest. I believe the tile is still louder. Chipolo does claim to be the world's loudest Bluetooth tracker. So let's go ahead and put them to the test. All right, we're gonna turn on the sound meter, go into the black plus, and we're gonna go ahead and ring it. All right, let's go ahead and hit the max, and you can see the maximum volume was 88.6. So it is nowhere near where they say it can go up to 100 decibels. All right, let's go ahead and check out this Chipolo 2.5, and there's really no speaker on here. I'm just gonna put where they have the little um, slot right here where you can uh, open the battery. Figure that'd be where most of the sound comes from. So let's go ahead and turn on the meter, log in to that tracker, and we're gonna go ahead and ring it. All right, let's see what the sound was. And you can see the highest sound right there was 80.8. So just like the, the Chipolo Plus, the sound is nowhere near where they claim it to be. Quickly go into the Tile app. And we're gonna go into Generation 2. And then we're gonna go place it down in the same location. Turn on the sound meter. All right guys, you guys can see right there, the highest decibel was 91.6, and they actually claim their decibel level is highest of 90, so this is even higher. All right, that was an interesting test. I don't know why it doesn't go up to where they say it's gonna go up to. You can see here on the paperwork that I have, that they say the Chipolo Plus can go up to 100 decibels. Quickly run through the app. First, we'll go to the settings. You can see here we can change the first name, last name, password, email address for your account. And then you have your help options if you need some help if you're having trouble like I was. In here we have name locations and, you, and this is actually a very important feature because in a minute I'll show you how you can tether your Chipolo to your phone and if they get disconnected, the alarms will go off. Now, 
You don't want those alarms going off at, in your work or at home. So one of the things you can do is name a location and enable the quiet locations icon right here. That way, if you're at work or at home, those alarms will not go off. So I'm quickly going to do one right here and we're going to name this location home and that should work. And then you have your community feature, which is important. If you do lose your device, you can ask the community to help you find it. And the bigger the community, the better. So um, keep on growing. And that's uh, why they want you to get a free Chipolo by you referring them business and growing that community. So there's an option right there. Permissions, we went over earlier when we set that up. And then we each tracker, each uh, Chipolo has settings of their own. You can go into the settings and you can share the blue plus with uh, friends or family members. You can take a selfie mode, which is very cool. And all you need to do is double click it. And it took a selfie just like that. And you can save this to your photos. It does take a few seconds. I don't know why. There it goes. It's a little slow. They can work on that. And then we have the customize. Um, you can name it, of course. And then the Chipola wake feature, which is extremely important also, uh, which I'll go back to in a second, but let's talk about the Chipola labs. Chipola sounds is when you want the sounds to go off for um, your tethering, your in range or out of range notifications. So, um, you definitely want those on, so if they do get disconnected, the phone will go off and the Chipolo will go off to let you know that you're out of range. And now at the bottom, of course, you can remove your Chipolo. Um, some other tiles out on the market actually don't allow you to remove your own tracker. You have to, you have to hide it or contact the company to have them remove it. Here's the Chipolo Wake. If you guys saw my original Chipolo video, um, you guys saw the Chipola Wake was able to reinstate the app in the background so you were able to find your phone just by pressing the button on the device. Unlike where the tile, you don't have that feature, you have to keep the app running. Um, but the Chipolo Plus and the Chipolo, you can reconnect um, even without the app running. It does take about five or 10 minutes after the app is shut down, but at least you have the possibility of finding your phone if you lose it without the app running. Let me demonstrate really quick. So you can see the app is running currently. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the app. And then if you press the button on the Chipolo, it will not find it. But we're gonna come back in about five, 10 minutes and I'll show you what happens. All right, it's been about five minutes or so. You can see I got three notifications saying that the Chipolos came back in the within range. But if I would log in into the phone and look at the apps that are running, you can see there are no apps running. And then when you press the button, double click on it, boom, just like that. Now this is a little difficult to shut off. It just keeps going and going until turn off. Ah! Now that I'm seeing a lot of trackers having the ability to find the phone with the app turned off, I'm wondering if it's able to find the location of a tracker without the app being on. I will be doing a test for that in the near future. I think I'm gonna be posting that on my Patreon page. So um, if you're one of my Patreon members, I truly appreciate it. And as a bonus, you guys will be seeing that video. Guys, let's wrap up this video. I appreciate Japolo sending me their Japolo Plus. I think it's a great product with a lot of great features. It's definitely gonna give Tile a run for their money. I'm not quite sure why they went with the non-replaceable battery. I think that was a mistake. But I do like how they have additional features that are not in some trackers. In the near future, I will be doing a distance test of the Chipola Plus to see if their range of 200 
feet or 60 meters is true or not. I will also be cutting one of these open. So if you guys want to see that video, click right down here. If you guys want to see pricing and availability of the Chipotle Plus, I will leave a link in the description of this video. If you haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for updates. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.